Welcome back. Uh, recently, I've been getting a lot of questions about um, how to kill weeds in the lawn. When should you kill them? Uh, what's the best product to use? How do I do it? Um, I'm going to show you that today. Um, who I learned from was the Lawn Whisperer. I use almost exactly the, his same method. Um, though, because of the climate here in the Pacific Northwest, I have to be a little more mindful of rainfall and timing and stuff like that. So I'm going to go over that today for those of you locally that have asked me about weeds, um, I've got no problem answering questions. One thing I'm not good at is identifying weeds. So if you need to figure out what kind of weed you're treating, um, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can Google like a uh, lawn weed identification, or you can even check your local uh, extension office, and they usually will have a list of weeds that are found locally towards you um, and how to identify them and, and even treat them. But for today, I'm going to show you what I do, so let's get to it. Okay, so killing weeds. You have a couple options here. Uh, either tank spraying like a blanket spray or just simply spot spraying. Um, you kind of have to decide what you need to do. If you have a lot of weeds in a bigger yard, you're going to probably want to do a blanket spray, and you have a couple of options for that. Some are, there's a lot of hose in type sprayers um, that you just insert your hose on, go out and spray it uh, per the label on there, and you'll be just fine. Um, what I have done in the past is I've actually used this uh, four gallon tank sprayer and mixed up the same stuff I'm gonna show you here in just a minute. But for today, I only have a few weeds, so I'm just gonna use this little two gallon um, hand pump sprayer. It, it, they're great for spot spraying. You can pick those up just about any big box store for less than $20. They work great. If you are interested in one of these uh, bigger tank sprayers, there's a lot of them out there on the market. Um, I picked up this Field King last year. Uh, it is a hand pump, not a battery. Kind of regretting that. Um, but it does work. It works great. Uh, it's just a little more of a workout, uh, keeping the pressure on it. Um, so you kind of have to decide what you need to do there. And... Of course, your square footage, how much you're going to cover would depend on how much product you're going to buy. And I'll go over that here in just a second. Okay, so as far as what you can use, if you want to spend the money, you can use Tenacity. It works pretty well. The problem with Tenacity is, is it's not readily available uh, locally. You have to order it online and it can get a little expensive, but it does work well. And it works both as a post-emergent and a pre-emergent, covers a wide variety of different weeds. It's a great option to have, but can get a initially a little spendy. What I like to use for just quick spot spraying or, or what I recommend for um, even blanket spraying that you, you can easily pick up anywhere, any big box store, any agricultural supply store, would be these two here. This is a BioAdvanced All-in-One Lawn and Weed Crabgrass Killer and an Ortho Weed Be Gone. Um, they're both in a concentrate form. Okay, so real quick, one thing you want to look for when you go out and buy any of these products is you're looking for stuff like this right here. Won't harm the lawn. Won't harm the lawn. You want to make sure you get something that is not going to hurt the lawn. Uh, that way, you know, you don't go out and accidentally spray a non-selective and it wipes out your entire yard. That would be kind of terrible. Um, so be mindful of that and it won't harm the lawn. Uh, the other thing you can look at getting and using is a surfactant and there's two options for that. You can use uh, this non-ionic surfactant. You can get this on Amazon and I'll put a link down below where you can get this. This is the best option. What this does is it breaks the surface tension on a weeds. Uh, Clover is pretty good about having a lot of surface tension. This breaks that down so that the uh, herbicide sticks better to the leaf and, and does a better kill. But I'll leave a link below where you can get that. Another little tip, guys, when you buy something, I always tend to write the date on it so I know how long I've had it. Um, but you just find a small bottle of this. It doesn't take a whole lot for a herbicide. 
uh, application, if I can get this to focus, it's one to two teaspoons per gallon is really all you need. So you don't need a whole lot. And I believe this is a one pint uh, container. They're, they're great to have when you need it. It works really well. If this isn't an option, most people have Dawn dish soap sitting around. This works just as well. Um, you don't need a lot of this. One or two uh, quick squirts and you'll be good. And try to find something that doesn't say antibacterial on it. You don't want to be putting that on your lawn. Um, so be mindful of that. The blue Dawn dish soap works great though. Um, if you don't have either one of these, I don't have any here to show you. Baby shampoo works just fine. Most people have that around if they have children. Um, and then the other thing I use is a blue dye just so I can see where I've sprayed. Uh, this is something else you can order online. Pretty uh, messy stuff to play with. I, it can stain everything, so be careful with it. It's kind of why I have it in a bag, just to keep from making a mess. Um, give you a quick example of what it can do. Okay, for the Bio Advance, this stuff, this is one thing I have to be mindful of here in the Northwest. Rainproof in an hour which is really kind of nice. So if there's a, a break in a storm or something or break between storms, you can use it. Don't need a whole lot, 3.2 ounces per one gallon of water. Um, and this stuff kills crabgrass, dandelions, chickweed, clover, and it has a list of about 200 other weeds on the label if you want to read through it. The active ingredient in the Bio Advance, all in one is 2,4-D quinchloric and dicamba. So it's a pretty good combination. It's gonna knock out most weeds. The ortho weed be gone, this one is probably my preferred one. It works great, especially uh, I tend to fight a lot of clover, which is I'm going to be targeting today. But the ortho weed be gone. It's rainproof in six hours. So you need to plan a little bit if you're here in the Pacific Northwest to make sure you don't have a storm rolling in. Um, I know things, the weather here is very unpredictable, so it's tough to do, but rainproof in six hours. This stuff, you only need one ounce per gallon of water, and this kills chickweed, clover, oxalis, creeping charlie, wild violet, and it uh, it also kills spurge. I had a real problem with spurge last year, as I noticed most of the country did. Uh, for whatever reason, spurge really took off, but this will kill spurge as well. And the active ingredient in this, if I'm pronouncing it right, is uh, triclopyr. Triclopyr? Triclopyr? Yeah. That stuff. It works great. Um, one thing with both of these uh, is avoid mowing for two days after applying it. And if you need to, you can reapply it two weeks later. When you apply this stuff also, you don't, uh, you don't want to have your children or your pets or anything or even people at all out in the lawn till it's dry. Once it's dry, then you're good to go, be just fine. The stuff isn't very fast acting. Um, you can sometimes see uh, some of the bigger broadleafs like dandelions will start to turn pretty quickly in a couple hours. But for the most part, you got to be patient with this stuff. It does take a little while to work, but it does work very well. And this stuff's fairly inexpensive, these two weed killers. Uh, I think they're both less than $15 a piece, and they cover pretty well. The Bio Advance covers, uh, sometimes you can find this 25% more bottle. The, the normal bottle covers 5,000 square feet. This one covers 6,250. And the Ortho Weed Be Gone will cover 3,200 square feet just out of the bottle. Now, for spot spraying, this is great because you're not going to use nearly that much. You can buy each one of these and then probably do several applications if you're just spot spraying depending on how much you're using so anyways let's get to killing some uh some clover i've got quite a bit of it okay so the first thing you want to do is fill up your tank about halfway i'm only going to mix a gallon because i don't have a whole lot to go through so i'm gonna put about a half gallon of water in here first the ortho weed be gone is uh one ounce per gallon and the lid is also measuring cups which makes it pretty easy With the Bio Advance, you use 3.2 ounces uh, per gallon of water. And the lid on these is also a measuring cup, which makes it really nice. For the surfactant, if you're going to use the Dawn dish soap, quick squirt worked just fine. Pretty sure that was somebody's nickname in college. We won't go there. 
uh, but for the non-ionic surfactant, um, for herbicide applications, it's about a one to two teaspoonfuls uh, per gallon of water. And if you have tenacity, you have this nice little uh, measuring tool that I like to use. Now the blue dye you don't necessarily need, it just makes it so you know where you've already sprayed. Um, it's not really necessary, but if you do have this stuff, it, it is really messy. So uh, be kind of careful with it, it's the same thing. Uh, I believe it's about an ounce per gallon is what you want to use. I just spill some in there, call it good enough, because I'm not going to try and measure this stuff, it just makes way too much of a mess. And that should be more than enough. And then fill the container back up with the so you got a gallon of water. good shape and uh, we'll get to spring. So I had a lot of noise going on, wasn't able to talk too much while spraying, but um, what I typically do is follow the mow pattern. Um, you can use stripes if you're striping or, or even the wheel marks. Just kind of follow that along, work back and forth. Uh, that way you don't miss anything. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask down below. I'll gladly answer them. If I don't know, I'll get you in touch with somebody that does. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'll, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, hit the like button, the notification bell if you want to know uh, every time I post a video. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.